That will never happen. It would be an irre irreparable catastrophe. Wow. I never expected Clover to use a word like that. Uh, uh, irreparable? Yeah, irreparable catastrophe. Okay, so now I know how to avoid taking damage. So I gotta press the button to engage them before they hit me. Okay, that makes sense, actually. There's a health there in case I need... Okay, I guess I don't need it. Well. <laughs> Alright, that's one way to do it. Okay. Let's check the other side now. I don't want to miss anything if it's important. Oh, fucking hell. God damn it. <sighs> what is up, everybody? My name is Undone Catalyst, and welcome to Totally Spies 3 Secret Agents. So we are, I am back with another Totally Spies game. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, I played the first two games back in 2014. And at the time of this video, those are still my most popular series, my most popular videos that I've done on my channel. I think in the entire duration of my time on YouTube, those are still my most popular videos. Because I think the very first video I did hit over 10k views, so I was like, holy crap. You know, it'd be cool to hit another milestone like that again one day, but unfortunately... Trying to pr grow on YouTube, being like a gamer, especially at this day and age, it's not easy, so... Whatever. It's not a big deal. I just do it because I enjoy it. Like, even after all these years, I still enjoy it, so... But anyway... So, uh, I actually wanted to play this game. I've wanted to play this game for a while, actually. But, uh, the thing is... We're breaking into the, uh, DS realm now. Nintendo DS. So, trying to, uh map all like the keep the controls on my keyboard it was a pain in the ass so i wanted to wait until i got a gamepad because i did try to i tried to record a video like try to record a video on this before and you know trying to like i said trying to play with the keyboard it was very difficult so i wanted to wait till i got a gamepad which i did so hopefully it should make things a little bit easier but anyway so yeah, I've already played like the first hour of this game, so I kind of know what's going to happen a little bit. But I don't know. So anyway, I guess we're just going to move on and see what happens. So let's go. See my little stylus pen here. So let's do it. Oh shit, that's... <laughs> yeah, you can see I tried to play this already, but we're going to erase this actually. Yes. And start it over. Alright, let's do it. Options. What kind of options do we have? Language. And credits. That's kind of how it is with all the other games, with the other games too. But anyway, new game. Beverly High, 10:31 a.m. Okay, let's do it. Don't forget, it'll soon be the end of your ball. Get your dinner, dinner jackets, and evening gowns ready. And above all, find yourself a partner. I know already who I'm going to dance with. Me too. Me too! David! 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 Oh, they're all by... Oh, I forgot about David, actually. If I recall, David ended up rejecting all three of them because it wasn't... I can kind of understand why he did that, though. He didn't think it was fair to choose between them. Oh, God, Mandy. Ha 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 ha! David! Your partner? You're fooling yourselves, feather brains. David is going to dance with the queen of the ball. In other words, me. Uh-oh. I think I remember this from the actual show, too. You see, the first game was the only one that did something different. Everything else kind of overused just episodes from the show. Anyway, okay, Jerry. Hi, spies. Strange things are happening in town. Whoop needs you. Oh no, Jerry. No mission. We've got a ball to prepare. That's much more important. Yeah, we've got to seduce a partner. Evening gowns to try on. So here is a mission which you will like. It has something to do with evening gowns. What? <laughs> the Underground Velvet store has been attacked. Underground Velvet? 
The ultimate clothes store? Uh, I'm, I haven't done these voices in a while, so I'm trying to remember how I did them. I'm trying to get my voice back into the way I did it before. If you say so, Clover. The store owner was wearing ridiculous clothes and has been petrified. Look. But that's Brad Velvet. But that's Brad Velvet. But that's Brad Velvet. Yes, and I'm afraid he may only be the first in a long list. All the fashion designers are in Beverly Hills at the moment for the fashion festival. They mustn't all be transformed into statues. That will never happen. It would be an irre irreparable catastrophe. Wow. I never expected Clover to use a word like that. Uh, uh, irreparable? Yeah, irreparable catastrophe. We'll lead the investigation. Whoop is letting you have these gowns by great designers. With them, you will be taken for models. The ideal way to go unnoticed at the festival. Top fashion? Jerry, will we be able to keep the outfits after the mission? Of course not, Clover. Here are your gadgets. The jet boots for Alex. The X powder for Sam. And for you, Clover, the mini smoke bombs. Jerry, can't I have the jet boots? Of course not, Clover. Well, girls, there's no time to lose. Good investigation, spies. As if we have a choice. Fashion Festival, 12.32 p.m. Okay. Isn't that the groove? Okay, so my gamepad does work. This is awesome. Okay, so I remember you got it bounce back and forth between uh, her normal outfit and her spy outfit. That's if you need to jump over things. So they did do something interesting. You can also switch between characters. Yeah, okay. I recall that there also is some parts where you have to do voice voice act, voice commands. I do have my mic turned on. I don't know if it's going to work though because I remember before it didn't work. But maybe it'll work better now. We'll see. Okay, as you have no doubt noticed, girls, Whoop has entrusted you with the brand new X Powder. It has four main functions. Touch the spy icon to put on the spy outfits or to hit an opponent. Touch the infiltration icon on the left of the touchscreen to don one of the splendid disguises or divert the enemy's attention. Touch the gadget icon in the center of the touchscreen. You will be able to use the gadgets. Touch the portrait icons at the top of the touchscreen. You can swap roles in order to use the specific gadgets in turn. And never forget that you can only use the gadgets when you are wearing your spy outfits. Yep. Okay. In the course of your perilous missions, you will often make encounters which are unfriendly. That is why your X powder has been improved with a CAS, a combat assistance system. This revolutionary system enables you to know exactly where, when, and how to hit an enemy. You just have to hit the targets in order. Of course, the machine does not do everything. You must be fast if your Kung Fu is to be effective. Kung Fu, huh? Intriguing. The Whoop computer has cataloged your best compact combat techniques, Super Spies. To throw a punch, you must touch the blue target in the time allowed. Okay, I remember. You gotta, like, drag your mouse across the thing. Touch the spy icon to put on the spy outfits or to hit an opponent. Uh, that one? Ah, oh, shit. Can she not jump up there? I don't think she can get up there right now. Okay, well. Okay, you had to do this some weird janky way. Yeah, you... Okay, so you had to do that some weird way janky way I remember now blah 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 because you have to drag like I said you have to drag your mouse in an odd way to hit that because I remember having I remember struggling this bef with this before okay let's see See, I don't even 
See, I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong before, and I still can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. Jesus Christ. Okay, uh... <laughs> this is not going well. Okay. Well, let's try this again. Ugh, God. Yes, shut the hell up. Do I just tap in the circle? Okay, I just tapped the circle. I was trying to drag through. Okay, that was my problem. So those ones you click. There are other ones where you have to... Yeah, there are other ones where you have to, like, drag your mouse all weird. That's what I was saying before. Okay, so those ones I just click. So that's not a problem. Okay. I don't see how it's just all goods. But whatever. <laughs> okay. Alright, another enemy. Kick his ass. Okay, how are we losing so much health? What did I lose health in? Oh my god, okay, we need... If I switch, nope, it's still only one health. Well, fuck. Oh, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> god damn it. Yeah, I'm pretty much having the same problems that I had. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I really wish you could just skip all this. I'd say I didn't even hit a checkpoint yet, so... Wait, if I press a button... Oh, that's weird. Okay, so I don't even need the touch screen for this. That's weird as hell. Okay, so I think... I'm thinking I need to sneak up on them, maybe. Oh, that heart isn't even there anymore. Damn. What the hell has... See, I don't know how to do that without getting hit. This is what I couldn't figure out before. Okay, she's the hacker. What if I throw the smoke bombs? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. That's one way to do it, yeah, because I have, like, no health. I probably shouldn't be wasting those. A save point. Thank God, okay. So now we made it to a checkpoint, finally. To give a kick, you have to slide through the pink target with the style. Yep. 
from one side to the other before the time gauge reaches empty. Okay, so they didn't explain that before. Fuck, see, I don't know what the hell to do here. You see, I don't know how to do that without getting hit. Ugh, god damn it. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to be clicking on the... That's so dumb. That is so stupid. Okay, so I gotta... Yeah, this was the one I couldn't figure out before. But now I know what to do. Okay, so now I know how to avoid taking damage. So I gotta press the button to engage them before they hit me. Okay, that makes sense, actually. There's a health there in case I need... Okay, I guess I don't need it. Well. <laughs> Alright, that's one way to do it. Okay. So now do I have to jump... From here, yeah. Okay, I don't need to use. Oh fuck! <laughs> well, that went well. Okay. How do I do this again? Oh, just press that. Well, the one thing they get consistent in every game is you still have to jump with Alex, which makes no sense to me. Like, what is it about Alex? I don't understand why Alex is the only one that can jump. I made it. Okay. Is there an enemy coming? Coming up here yet? Come on. No, well, man, these these checkpoints are so small. You do realize this now. Interesting. Okay. There's an enemy. Got him. Bitch. Okay, so these are just punches. Well, it's the big guys I think you gotta do the slide kicks and shit through. Boom. Bitch. Yeah, this guy here. All right. It's gonna get harder, isn't it? Oh. They tricked me with that one. That's all right. At least I didn't lose any health. Got him. Okay. Got him. So yeah, having a gamepad does make this a little bit easier. That mu That's much too high to jump. So we give up and we go shopping? No, let's use a jet boot. Select me and double touch my gadget icon. Or press up twice on the control pad to double jump. For real? That's much more awkward. Yeah, I can just press... That... <laughs> so much easier. To activate or deactivate the switch, touch the padlock icon on the touchscreen while we are standing by it and be careful not to break a nail. Oh, that one? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so we don't necessarily need... Okay, I'm supposed to go this way, aren't I? Da da da. da 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 Okay. So I gotta move this block. Which way do I need to go? Well, let's check and see what's over here first. Ah, save point. Perfect. Okay. Let's check the other side now. So I don't want to miss anything if it's important. Oh, fucking hell. 
God damn it. Ay, ay, ay. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, this. We are back in it again. Voice control door. Use the X powder by touching the lock icon above the gadget icon. Try to remember every digit. Key seconds as they highlight, then state the password digit by digit into the microphone. Okay, so this is the problem that I had before. Eight. Nine. Nine. Yeah, see, the voice controls don't work. That's why I'm like, what the fuck? Because I feel like there's something over here. Oh, it's, is that just a heart? Or is there anything else back there? Five. 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 <laughs> Five. God damn it. What the fuck, man? Seven. 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 Zero. Nine. Nine. I can't tell if it's work. See, I can't tell what it's supposed to be doing. Six. 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 Fuck it. The hell with that. Don't even want to bother. Although someone tells me something like that's going to be showing up again later. Okay, what's over here? Don't remember. Knowing how to pass some scene is often very effective during a mission. Thanks to your disguises, you'll be able to infiltrate some very well guarded locations. As soon as you enter one of these locations, the lights to the left and right of the X power come on. As long as the lights are green, there is no danger. If they are orange, then you are approaching a guard. If they become red, a guard has spotted you. As soon as the lights begin to flash, touch the infiltration icon on the touch screen and divert attention. Be quick. If the spies are unmasked, the mission has failed. What? That's so dumb. Give me a break. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, I think I'm going to end this part here. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can let me know by leaving a like or telling me in the comments below. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, deuces.